Greetings educators, my name is Eric Terrell from Round Hill Elementary in Round Hill, Virginia. And I want to share with you uh, how we use clickers in our physical education program using the Plagnets, the magnet version of clickers. I want to share with you some resources I've found online, how the app works, how the website works for clickers, and some resources that I've found that have helped me in my program and hopefully can help you also. Assessment is an area of teaching I've been trying to improve. Plickers is a tool I've been watching for many years. I downloaded and printed a set of cards from the Plickers website, downloaded the app, played around and tried to figure out how to get Plickers to fit into my program, but nothing seemed to fit for me. Kept my eyes open to how other physical educators were using Plickers in their program, then I started seeing the Plickers magnets or plagnets from Mike Gincola, Tanner Roos, Brian McPherson, Ben Perillo, and then finally I saw Kevin Tiller's plagnet board of 30 plagnets with the choices on one side of the magnet and the barcode on the back of the magnet, and that was the winner for me. We built a double-sided board and two sets of plagnets so it can be used by single or double classes. Slowly, we've been implementing plickers into our daily closure. As we're wrapping up a class lesson, we'll project the day's plickers question. Students can, in either order, go to the plickers board and answer their daily question, then clean up, or clean up and they can go answer the question. Afterwards, they line up and prepare to go to their next class. Before we dismiss, we talk about the question, what was the correct answer, and why it was the correct answer. As the next class comes in and begin their in instant activities for the day, I then scan the previous class's answers. Takes a total of 10 seconds and doesn't interfere with either class. We found that students are actually cleaning up faster at the end of class. Plickers Magnets has not taken away any time at all from our physical education time and has added so much more. So now I want to walk you through the app. Download the app to your iPad, click on Plickers, click on the class, click on the assessment you want to do for the day. Up will pull, pull up with this section here, then you scan it. Once you scan it, you click on the bottom right hand button and you can see that what students have taken and haven't taken it, got it right, got it wrong. And then you scan it again, click the record button, and it tells you your results. Click on the view responses, and it'll tell you which students answered what. Here's my teaching partner, Chris Lose, doing a double class. We found with two classes, it's best to use one device. So let's take a look at their website. Go to new class. We're going to create a Turles first grade class here. Click to create class. We're going to add students. Go to an Excel spreadsheet, pull it up, copy, paste a list of students, paste it into your um, class, and then you can sort them by first name or last name. I prefer last name. Click Save. Now you can add from your library previous uh, assessments that you want to add to it. Here I just added a sports stacking one because we're in the middle of sports stacking. So when I click on the sports stacking folder and up comes the sports stacking questions, three through three, three, six, three cycle with the correct answer highlighted in green. Now here's the part I like. You clicked on spreadsheet or score sheet, click on the class, and then you can go back in time to click to see. I like the month feature. You go back in time to see the classes and Without having to write down any scores, Plickers has generated the results for me. Right there, I have a grade book already put together. Here are some examples of items that we have already tested for. We just did a muscular strength. Here's a cardiorespiratory endurance, bowling, foul line. Many of these you can find on the RHEPE YouTube site, bowling grip. Cup stacking 363, we have a 333, and we have a cycle finish. Uh, Plickers assessment here for you. Which hand the ball do you start with when you're throwing? Which foot do you step with? And how do you catch the ball? Here's another way we've used Plickers with the BAM video delay app. Students can give themselves a self-assessment. There's four cues on the screen there for dribbling. If she watches herself performing those four cues, then on the Plickers board, she gives herself a 4 out of 4, which is an A. 3 out of 4 is a B. 2 out of 4 is a C. 1 out of 4 is a D. And then back on the camera, when her partner has switched with her at the end of 30 seconds, 
then they switch, just like it just happened. So she's going to go into trade. And now she will assess herself on the four dribbling cues. Now the student who just gave herself a grade, now's a chance for her to improve her grade by fixing what she wasn't using before in her dribbling. Nice little self-assessment tool. So now I want to show you how we make our clicker magnets. Uh, some resources I found through Kevin Tiller at Phys Ed Review, Mike Gincola at uh, Phys Ed Depot, and Ben Perlo at Teach Phys Ed, and Tanner Ruse's YouTube video that takes you step by step on how to make these. Uh, with them and their YouTube resources and their website resources, I uh, was able to do this and feel successful and implement it in my program. Also, if you go to the Round Hill YouTube page, R-H-E-P-E, -E, uh, there's some resources on how to use clickers in your program. So here's some resources I've found on the web with Mike Ginkola's Phys Ed Depot. You go to his website, physeddepot.com, scroll down to clickers, uh, clicker magnet plagnets, and scroll down and he gives you a huge selection of Plagnet designs he has found through the internet, people have sent to him. So I loved looking through these different designs to find what worked for me and what worked best for my program. A lot to choose from. Designs on the front of magnets, the back of magnets. Then I went to Kevin Tiller's Phys Ed Review. You go to his website, scroll down to Plickers and Plicker Magnets. And it gives you a detailed explanation of how to actually make your plicker magnets. You can download the designs of what you want on the front or the back. I found this design to work best for my program. I like having the barcode on the back with the answers on the front. So when you flip it, students can't see it. Here, Kevin Tiller gives you exactly what you need to purchase on how to make your own clicker magnets. Then you head over to Ben Perillo's Teach Phys Ed. Go to his website and you scroll down and you click on clickers and he has a lot more resources for you for you to check out. All these guys also have YouTube sites with clicker questions in video format for you to take a look at. Some great resources and I'm very thankful for what Mike and Cola, Ben Perillo, and Kevin Tiller have put together for all of us educators. To make your own plagnets, check out Tanner Rosa's YouTube site. Here's Tanner to show you how he made his plagnets. Hi, I'm Tanner Rose, and I'm going to show you how to make these cool new Shape Mags Plickers Magnets. I'm going to go step by step and get you ready so you can create your own. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go online somewhere like Amazon.com and get some of these Shape Mags. They are, uh, I think, three inches by three inches, you get 30 of them, come in a bunch of different colors, it does not include orange. You're also going to want to get yourself some shipping labels. These labels that I have are big enough to be the size of a piece of paper and you can just cut the stickers to whatever size you need. On top of that, then I got some self-seal laminating sheets, uh, very easy to use. Just cut them to size and you're ready to go. Total cost of this stuff. The self-seal packaging, you get 10 sheets, is about $5. The Avery labels, I think you also get 10 sheets, $5, maybe a little bit more. And the shape mags you got on Amazon, $20 for 30 of them. After you've purchased your supplies, you're gonna to wanna to find a Plickers template that you like. I made this one here to be the exact perfect size for these shape mags. To find that template you're going to want to go on to the global PE drive. Click on my name Tanner Ross, R-O-O-S. You're going to search it a little bit. You're going to find a document I'm going to find a document that I called Plickers Rose Square 2.5 inch PDF. Looks like this. Go ahead and save it and print it. I made enough to get you through, I think, 63 kids. 
Uh, also, if they ever decide to make more, I did leave a template here that you can create more if you need. Once you have printed them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut them to the size you need. You're gonna take the sticker and peel off the back. Not the easiest thing to do one-handed. Place it where you need. As easy as that. Now my printer didn't work super great, so I'm gonna take out my Sharpie. Color in some of these black spots. Just make sure it's nice and solid before I put on the laminating sheet. After trimming up the single-sided laminating sheet. I'm going to take the peel off. Lay it on top. And maybe I'll do a better job next time on that one. But it's done. Now your plickers maggots are ready to use. Nice and thick. If you really wanted, you could put something on the other side. Maybe uh, you like the emojis. You can print one uh, with emojis on it. But I like mine this way. All right, and I want to give a shout out to Mark Youngman and Mike Giacola for doing this and making these uh, super popular within our PE community. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching this video on clickers and PE. Uh, if you need some more additional resources, you know, please go to Kevin Tiller's Visit Review, uh, Mike Giancola's Visit Depot, Ben Perello, Tanner Ruse. Go to ragpe.com, follow me on Twitter at ragpe1, or go to my YouTube channel, ragpe, for additional clickers resources. Thanks, and have a great school year.